you can define library dependencies in build files in the dependency configuration block. If there is a library dependency that appears in multiple build files, if the version needs to be updated, it would have to be done in multiple locations, which can lead to mistakes or some definitions not being updated. Gradle Build Tools supports declaring libraries and versions in a central location, which can then be referenced in the build files. That way, updates need to be made in one place and reduces the chances of mistakes. This is known as the version catalog. The default location for the version catalog is in the Gradle directory in a file called libs.versions.toml. Gradle init created this file for us. There is a section where you can define the libraries that are dependencies, and a section where you can declare the versions for the libraries, which can be referenced by the library section. It's important to understand that only the libraries and versions are declared in the version catalog, not the bucket dependency configurations. That is, we declare what libraries will be used, not how they will be used. Libraries in the version catalog can be referenced in build files. Let's say we wanted to reference the Guava library defined in the version catalog and add it to the implementation bucket dependency configuration for the app subproject. We can go to the build file. In the dependencies configuration, we can write the bucket dependency configuration. and then reference the version catalog using the variable libs. We can see the libraries available, plus some other things that we'll go over. And we can add the Guava library. References to libraries in the version catalog are type safe. The reference is through a variable. This is another means of reducing mistakes. We can see the configuration Gradle init created reference the libraries in the version catalog. Let's uncomment that configuration and comment out the changes that we had made. Note for the JUnit Jupyter library, in the version catalog, it was junit-jupyter, whereas in the build file, it's junit.jupyter. The dashes in the version catalog are treated as kind of delimiters, and dots are used instead in the build file. We'll go over this again in another example coming up. You may also notice that JUnit Platform Launcher does not have a version associated with it. This is a more advanced topic that is covered in future dependency management training. Let's go over an example of adding a couple of libraries with the version catalog. Mokido is a popular library that provides a mocking framework for testing. Let's assume we wanted to use two Mokido libraries, Mokido Core and Mokido JUnit Jupyter. We want to use the same version for both libraries. 5.10 for Mikito Core. And also 5.10 for JUnit Jupyter. In the version catalog, we can add the Mikito JUnit Jupyter library. We can remove the dependency configuration. And this single string format is also supported in the version catalog with both the module ID and the version together. Let's also add the Makito core library.
To make things easier to manage and prevent mistakes when updating the version in the future, we can create a version for both Mercado libraries. And update the two library declarations to reference the same version. Note that if we make a typo in the version reference, the editor alerts us that there is an issue. Now we can hit the Gradle Refresh icon and go to the build file. Here we can add the libraries to the test implementation bucket dependency configuration. Note again that the dashes in the version catalog are treated as kind of delimiters and the dots are used instead in the build file. If there were a group of libraries we wanted to always use together, we can make things easier by using bundles. We can go to the version catalog and create a new section called Bundles. Here we can create a Mokito bundle and reference the two Mokito libraries. Now we can use the bundle in the build file instead of the two separate declarations. Remember to hit the Gradle Refresh icon so the editor sees the updates to the version catalog. You can also define the plugins and versions you want to use in the version catalog. They'll be in a section called Plugins. We won't be showing an example of that here. It is covered in another training. The version catalog is a newer feature in Gradle Build Tool, so you will encounter older projects that do not use it yet. The benefits are helpful and it is recommended to use it for new projects and also introduce it in existing projects. This video is just a sample of what's available in the free DPE University Learning Center. Head over to DPE University to take the full course, earn a LinkedIn certificate and unlock your potential with Gradle Build Tool. You can find links in the description below.